Hello, this is Rachel Ariana, and today I wanted to share with you my nails. I am super excited about this. I really, really love them. I finally went and got the Dashing Diva Gloss Gel Decal Nails, the stick-on ones, and I don't really rave about products, but I am going to rave about this because they were so simple to use, so simple to put on, and my nails look so pretty, and they're not, they're non-damaging, so I know that I can wear these and have pretty nails and have nail art on my nails and know that my nails are not going to be destroyed in the process. So, um, as you know, if you watch one of my last videos about having brittle nails, I ruined my nails putting fake nails on my nails and I'm over it. I do not using fake nails anymore. I'm getting my nails back to being healthy and I'm going through the process of growing my nails out, you know, until all of the damaged brittle nails are gone. And I still want to have pretty nails and I was thinking what can I do and I saw these nail decals and I was like I'm gonna give those a, ch a try and I you know looked on YouTube and I was seeing how people use them and I was thinking that they may be difficult to use or hard to use and they are not difficult to use at all I am somebody who is not very patient I don't even like to necessarily paint my own nails I'll get very impatient and I just get sloppy with what I'm doing and these were so easy to do. Now it does take some time and some getting used to and my nails are not perfect because I did do them today for the very first time myself. So I, of course, it, I'm, you know, there's a learning curve with them. Um, some of them are not as perfect as they could be. Um, off to the side so as I was matching up the nails and doing the sizes or, or the correct sizes I did kind of you know there were some where you know you could kind of see the side of my nail here but you would only be able to see the side of my nail there if you literally took my hand and were going like that and looking at my hand like that which of course nobody's gonna do I'm very very pleased with this like I said this these are foolproof in my opinion meaning if I can do it with as impatient as I am with doing certain things things anyone can can use these decals and these are excellent if you're somebody like me you are done with with fake nails you don't want to be putting fake nails on your nails anymore you don't want to destroy your natural nail but you still want to have pretty nails and some kind of and look together and put together this is it. I These are gonna be a staple of mine from here on out. These are gonna be in my beauty routine from here on out. So I have these in this package, which are the same ones that are on my hands right now. I don't know if you can see them. Um, I accidentally ended up getting two of the same kind. So this is the ones that I use today. And I accidentally got two of the same kind because I ordered one pack on Ulta because I got some primer and some eyeshadow from Ulta which I was having sent to me through the mail and I thought I ordered a different pack than this but I guess I didn't. I guess I liked this design so much because I ended up getting the exact same one in Walmart and I didn't realize that I got this exact same one but it actually works out because I show this one to you here and then I'm wear actually wearing them as I'm you know doing this intro or showing this to you and they are um so so pretty and right now considering I'm kind of into like the gold jewelry right now like I have my gold earrings in I love how the nails have along the the like cuticle area has that little gold accent they're just so pretty but there are so many different designs and different nail art and that's what I also love about it just because you can go if you want to go ahead and have just plain nails you can you can do that they have just the plain designs or plain like nail polish designs or actual you know designs on your nails i guess i'm just super excited because Again, anything that is simple, foolproof to do, and someone like me who is not very patient when it comes to this kind of stuff, if I can do it and I feel good about the job that I did, I know that anyone can do it. And like I said, if you are growing out your nails and you are tired of damaging your nails with salon acrylic nails, um, kiss, fake press on nails, Th this is the way to go. I also noticed because like I said, I'm still growing out the damage of, 
in my nails they're still damaged they i still probably have about i would say maybe a month left last in my last video when i was talking about taking care of damaged nails i um said that i had a month but i can kind of see where they are now i probably still have about a month maybe three weeks to a month but my point is is these this is awesome because they are gel like and they cover your nails and, and they almost protect them so i know that i've been using nail strengtheners i've been using nail tech nail tech nail strengtheners opi nail strengtheners and and I can tell using these that this will almost protect your nail. So as you are growing them out. So this is another great option. And when I did my last video on brittle nails, I didn't really realize these. I hadn't tried these yet. And I had seen videos on them and I was like, oh, I want to give those a try. And now I have, and I think these would be a great option as another way of helping protect your nails as you grow your nails out, um, you know, if they're brittle and damaged um the one thing i do know with these is they say don't rip them off though so be careful with that but i can tell that you know you can most people you can tell right away if something's going to be beneficial to your nails or not and i think these definitely will be now this is my very first day trying them on i haven't been wearing them for a while i've only had them on probably for about what 30 minutes at the most I will definitely do an update on these and let you know how they wear because I use my hands a lot. I'm constantly using my hands. I'm constantly doing things like I'm cleaning. I'm just, you know, just always doing something with my hands. I don't like to sit around. So I will let you know how these wear. It does say up to um, 14 days. And from what I've seen in the research I was doing, like just like looking on YouTube, um, I people have also said that they don't damage the nail and they do last a long time about 14 days so i will do an update let you know if how these lasted now again if they don't last a full 14 days i'm not going to be mad about it simply because i know that i didn't do them perfectly this this first time around because it was my very first time so I will go ahead and show you what I did and how I put these nails on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna do it in a voiceover or have a voiceover on the video and not chit chat through it because I did need some time to concentrate because it was my very first time putting them on. But I know when I put them on again, when I do the next set, I will do a much better job because of course, yes, there's a learning curve with these. So with anything else it'll take a bit of time and effort but i know the more i use these which i'm planning on i'm just going to get better and better at them so anyway with that being said if you want to go ahead and just watch a quick tutorial of how i use these and how i put them on then continue watching the first thing i did was set up my workstation so i have a nail file the tool to push back my cuticles here the manicuring scissors of course the dashing diva gloss nail polish jail nail polish i have three cotton pad rounds my nail te tech nail strengthener and then nail polish remover to remove my nail strengthener that is left over on my nails the first thing i did was take my nail polish remover and remove any excess or leftover nail polish strengthener that was left over on my nails. Once my nails were nice and clean, I went ahead and took the cuticle tool and I pushed back my cuticles. So one thing that you want to do is make sure that you definitely push back any cuticles. Sometimes you'll have a cuticle that has grown down on your nail that you can't actually see. This step is really important because if you apply the gel nail polish over the cuticle, then it will most likely peel up before it's supposed to. Once you will open up the Dashing Diva gel nail pack, you will find two strips of nails. Then you will find the decorative strip of nails as well as two larger thumbnails. For this, you do need to play around and look for the sizes that will work best for you and for your nails. 
Um, the directions do state that it is important to pick the smaller size nail if you're in between sizes. Um, I keep saying nail, but I should say gel polish. Pick the smaller size as they do wrap around down onto the nail. You want the smaller size because again, you don't want any part of it sticking up or coming off because if that happens, then they won't last as long. Inside you will also find a silver packet and within the silver packet will be the directions. There will be a little prep pad. It's called the Red Therapy Prep Pad, which removes any excess oils on your nails. And it also includes a nail file, which you can see there. So I have the Red Therapy Prep Pad that I'm showing there, as well as the nail file. The nail file is smooth on one side, and the other side is the actual gritty nail file part. I didn't use the prep pad on my nails. What I did is I took my acetone nail polish remover and used it on my nails one more time just to ensure that there wasn't anything on my nails, any excess oils or anything like that. Um, if you want to use the prep pad, I'm sure it's fine. I just chose not to do that. After choosing my sizes and finding ones that I thought would be appropriate, I went ahead and placed my very first gel nail polish onto my thumb. Um, I'm using the tweezers to pull it off. Just a tip when you're using the tweezers there, I went ahead and grabbed it with my fingers, but keep in mind this was my very, very first time putting them on. As I got better, I didn't grab them with my fingers um, after that, because of course you don't want to grab them with your fingers because your fingers have natural oils in them. But again, I did use start using the tweezers afterwards, but my point is use the tweezers, and when you use the tweezers, grab the bottom of it, the part that's gonna be excess. You can see that there's that excess gel nail polish left over. So that way if you, um, you know, do, if anything happens to get on that excess part, it's not a big deal because you can just cut it right off. So I've seen different videos of people folding down or folding under the excess without cutting it down but of course that works if your nails are longer my nails are on the short side because i did cut and file them all down um you know just helping with the growing out process so they're a little bit shorter so i definitely recommend using the um manicuring scissors to cut off the excess Since my daughter has great taste, after doing my left hand, I went ahead and asked her to help me do my right hand and pick out some of the colors that she thought would look pretty on that hand. So here she is explaining to me what she wanted me to do with each of my nails. Now that all the gel nail polish has been placed on my nails, I am using the little nail file that came with the Dashing Diva nail set and I am filing my nails vertically not horizontally to remove the excess and the excess actually came off very easily so again these nails were just so simple to use so I just went ahead and kind of used my finger to hold down the excess and then I just filed in a vertical motion to remove that excess and it did it kind of just balled up a little bit um and was able to be pulled off pretty easily. For this final step, I went ahead and cleaned up my workstation. There you can see my nails. I'm so happy. I feel super proud of them in that moment. Um, okay, so anyway, for this final step, you don't have to do this final step, but I chose to take my nail 
Tech Strengthener and do a couple of coats over the top of the gel nail polish just to help it last longer. Um, again, you don't have to do that. It's not something that the directions even say has to be done. But I was thinking it would be a good idea. And from what I've seen in other videos of people doing these gel strips, that is a suggestion that people have used, especially for people that have used them. And since this was my very first time, I do want to try to get the most out of them. So I went ahead and chose to use my gel tech, or sorry, nail tech strengthener as a top coat. And there you have it. My nails are all finished and pretty. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that that was helpful to you. Again, if you are somebody who is tired of acrylic nails, such as myself, you're growing out your actual nails and you want to have another option for having pretty put together nails, but without destroying them, this is the way to go. So anyway, I like I said, I hope that you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching it. Please give me a thumbs up. I hope you would consider subscribing. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Bye.